Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about what does being productive really mean? You know, living a life of productivity is definitely a worthy pursuit, right? But the term is thrown around so much nowadays that I think sometimes the actual definition has lost its importance. I mean, productivity has become yet another catchphrase used for employee tra training seminars and self-help techniques. And so people have kind of confused the meaning, right? They're, they're confused understanding what it means to be productive, and they end up wasting valuable time that could have been allocated far more effectively. So this is probably, I think this is mostly because of our, our fast-paced, um, results-driven nature of our society today. We want everything now, right? That's what we are. We're expected to produce more in less time than I think ever before. Um, but that's exactly what can hurt our productivity. You know, our time is our most valuable resource. I mean, more than anything else within our power, our time is just that, time. It can't be stored. It can't be regained. It can't be increased. Once you've spent it, it's gone. You've spent it, right? So keeping that in mind, using your time as optimally as possible is actually probably the most important thing, Right? So I have three things that, that can, you can honestly ask yourself when thinking about how you want to choose to spend your time. I think it will provide some clarity um, into what productivity actually is. So the first one, busy and productive are not synonymous. You know, this is probably the biggest misconception in regard to what it means to be productive. And you know, just because you're busy and you're constantly doing something and you're on the go all the time doesn't, doesn't mean you're being productive. A full schedule doesn't actually equal a productive one. You know, being productive means you're actually getting something done. And it is so easy to jump from task, from one task to another to another, right? Shifting your focus and your attention every five minutes. And actually, we call that multitasking. And it rarely works because you're really, you're not doing, it's not multitasking means doing several things at once. And you're not doing them at once. You're shifting your focus from one to the other and back to the other and back to the other. And it actually doesn't work. It really doesn't. You're going to get a lot more done if you focus on one thing, stick to it till it's done, and then do the other one. So every now and then, it's important to ask yourself whether or not you're actually accomplishing anything, you know. So, for example, after a five-hour stint on your computer, take a look at the end result. Have you produced something of value that wasn't there when you first sat down at your desk? Or take a look at your to-do list. How many items have you actually been able to check off? So don't confuse being busy with being productive. So the next one is progressing towards something. You know, although this somewhat piggybacks off of what I was just talking about, I think this tip deserves its own discussion, really. So a lot of people get into the grind mentality, right? And they spend hours upon hours blindly working, and sometimes they're working at irrelevant things, you know? And again, this may or may not mean you're actually accomplishing productivity, so with anything that you dedicate a significant portion of your time to, there should be an end goal in mind, you know? So regarding this goal, you, you need to have a well understood path of how you plan on attaining it. And so productivity is like a linear path from where you are now to what you want to get done, right? It's a path of what, what do you need to do to get that done, right? So if you're working hard just for the sake of working hard, then you run the risk of wasting valuable time and energy. So it's always important to consider your why before you allocate your valuable time to any task. You know, why are you doing this task? Will it move you closer to your goal? Um, when you write your to-do list every day, be intentional about it, you know. Be, make sure that everything you put on your list is intentional and that every step on that list is going to get you closer to what you're aiming for. And it's also a good idea when you're writing a to-do list is to break each task down into steps and then you can check off each step as you get going, right? And you just go through and check, check, check. And, and by the time you get through your to-do list, you've accomplished a lot, right? So um, the next one, balancing productivity. So although achieving anything worthwhile, certainly it involves hard work and dedication um, and focus, and, you know, but overall productivity doesn't mean neglecting every other area of your life in the process. 
So for example, if you wanted to transform your body and get in better shape, how beneficial would the end result be if you neglected your closest relationships and your work responsibilities and other commitments along the way? So you have to find a balance and being productive, being productive means nurturing every aspect of who you are, even during the pursuit of something specific. So sure, there's going to be times when more of your time and your energy is going to be allocated to one thing in particular, because that's where your focus is going to be. You're going to be working hard on getting that accomplished, right? But just make sure that's not where all of your attention and your focus is. I mean, Sometimes it takes everything we've got to make something work. And sometimes we have to be out of balance. That's, you know, it's a give and take. It's kind of, it's nothing is perfectly in balance, right? So at least make sure that not all of your time and your energy is going into it for any length of time because you don't want to neglect any other area of your, of your life. As human beings, we're a lot of things at the same time. We're mom, we're, we're, um, we have our business, we have our job, we have our health. I mean, we're all kinds of things, right, that we need to kind of take care of. So make sure that the important areas of your life are not falling behind doing to get caught, getting caught up in what you consider to be productive. So, hey, that's what I have. Um, now I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on being busy versus productive? You know, what, what are your thoughts on what I've talked about today? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts, so please get down in the comments and um, and put your thoughts in there. I would love to hear them. Anyway, I want to thank you for being here. If you happen to be live or if you're watching the replay, I appreciate you. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.